The scientific community is divided on what the interstellar object Oumuamua was. What are my opinions about it? So, what is Oumuamua? It is an object that was discovered in late 2017, I think, October 2017. So, it's a very strange object. It's It was discovered when it was already, it had already crossed the sun. It had already gone around the sun. It was going uh, away from the sun. So, here's what this object looks like. It is an artist's depiction. It's an artist's representation. We don't have any real images of this thing, but we know it's a general size and, and shape. So it's about uh, probably around 100 kilometers long. It is a thin structure. It's a cigar-shaped structure. And here's what we know about it. So we know its size. We know its, its rough shape. And we know that after it went around the sun, it was on a hyperbolic orbit which means that it, it, was, it is going to escape the solar system. It's never coming back, which also means that it came from outside the solar system. It's an interstellar traveler. It's the first object we have discovered thus far, which is extra solar in origin. It is from interstellar space. It is not of our, of our own solar system. So here's what we know about it. We know that uh, it did not have any gaseous tail like a comet would have, right? And yet, when it passed the sun, it was going away from the sun, it actually accelerated. Now, we see this sort of thing very uh, quite often. When you have a comet, it gives off gases when it is uh, heated up by the sun's uh, radiation. And this ejection of gases can cause comets to accelerate or decelerate or, or uh, it can cause their, their uh, orbital paths to change. So it's very difficult to predict the exact uh, orbit of a comet because of this reason. So you can maybe predict the orbit of a comet for 100 or 200 years at most, but then it's it's very, very hard to do that. So we found that this object, Oumuamua, exhibited acceleration, but it did not have any gaseous output. It did not have any coma. It did not have any cometary tail. So that is very perplex, perplexing. There is no mechanism that ex that explains why this object accelerated away from the sun. Secondly, it is extremely highly reflective. It is at least 10 times more reflective than your typical solar system rocky object. So some people have hypothesized that it is a solar sail. So I discussed solar sails a couple of questions ago. So some people have hypothesized this could be a solar sail or a relic from some ancient civilization, something that was floating around in space at a very high velocity, and we happen to find it. So it is highly reflective. Maybe it's made of metal, and maybe it's a solar sail. Its, its shape is extremely uh, atypical. Typically, you don't find the objects of this shape, natural objects of this shape in the solar system. It kind of uh, reminds you of either a solar, sa a solar sail or a spent rocket part, like a booster of a rocket or something. So that's why some very respectable and serious physicists have uh, propounded the hypothesis that this could have been our first contact with a with an extraterrestrial civilization. Now, this object is traveling very fast. It's already too far for us to really do any kind of uh, observations. Uh, a radio telescope was pointed at this object for a few hours, but uh, no signals were forthcoming. So it's a big mystery, but uh, some very serious and very well-respected physicists have put forth the very serious hypothesis that this could have been our first encounter uh, with an extra solar, with, with an extraterrestrial civilization. I think it was Avi Loeb, who's an American-Israeli physicist, who wrote a book about this even. So it's a very interesting uh, phenomenon. It's a very interesting event. And unfortunately, we are not in a position to send any probe to meet up with this object because it will take time to design and construct such a thing, by which time this thing will be gone. So from what data we have, we don't have the answer, a very definitive answer. But yes, it is very intriguing. And it could have been something possibly from somewhere else, something that was created by intelligent beings, perhaps. So the possibility is there. I and do take this possibility seriously, but we don't know for sure.